What's up everyone? It's Trevor back with another video and sorry it's been a few weeks since I've last posted but I've actually just been relaxing. So we had a spring break two weeks ago and then the last or three weeks ago and then the last two weeks I've honestly just been taking it easy because we haven't had any tests or quizzes or anything and I was just feeling really burnt out and I needed a break. So I've just been relaxing after school, kind of doing the bare minimum, not getting behind. But today it's Monday and we have finals in four weeks. So I'm kicking it back into gear right now. So that finals week is going to be a success and we are going to do as well as possible on all those big tests that determine whether or not all the hard work from the rest of the semester is going to pay off. So even though we haven't had very many tests during these past few weeks, we have gotten a bunch of grades back from tests that we took a couple weeks ago. And they were filled with some good scores and some bad scores. But uh, I think that sometimes the bad scores are almost more beneficial in the fact that if you make a big or even or a little mistake on um, something that's really important, so like a practical or a test, and you go back and you see what you did and you fix it and make a mental note of that, that is going to stick with you so much more than if you were to do just do it perfect the first time. So I'm actually pretty grateful for some of the lower, sco lower scores that I got on um, two of the practicals that we took because I feel like I've done a lot of practice to make sure I don't do that again and I know why I made those mistakes. So if you guys are ever getting down on yourself about a low score on something, don't worry about it. Just make sure you learn from your, your mistakes, you learn what you're doing wrong, and it'll actually benefit you in the future. But like I said, this past weekend was my pretty much last relaxed weekend until all the way through finals. So I'm actually headed into, I had class all day today, then I went to the gym, came back, ate dinner, and now I'm going back to lab to practice some um, composite fillings. So those are the tooth colored fillings that you get. Before this, we've only been doing amalgams, like the silver fillings. Now we're switching to the white ones, the tooth colored fillings that look a lot more natural, a lot more for, um, for aesthetics. And nowadays, some dentists even do them on posteriors. But anyways, I need to practice a lot. I have a practical coming up in, I think, about a week and a half. So we're going to go into lab, finish some assignments for tomorrow, and get some extra practice in so that we can dominate that. I'm going to bring you guys into lab with me, and I'll see you there. So here we are in lab, and we're going to walk through a few of the steps that I use to do a, a composite filling. And we got the Masters going on this weekend, so you got to watch the greats Rory, Jordan, Tiger, Phil, to see if they do anything amazing. But let's get on with the fill. So today we are going to be filling that big hole in tooth number 30. So that is going to be your lower right first molar. So our first step is to put a little layer of composite down on the bottom of our filling because our curing light can only cure about 2 millimeters or so. So we're going to put a pretty thin layer there first. Now we are going to take a condenser and kind of stamp all of that down, get into all the corners and curves of the prep to make sure that we don't get any voids or air bubbles which will ruin the integrity of your filling in case it was actually in a real patient. As they bite down, it'd probably come out um, or a candy would pull it out if you had a lot of those um, on the bottom of your prep. So let's make sure that's not happening. Now we are going to cure that first layer. Cure it for about 20 seconds with the UV light. Don't want to be looking at, looking at that light in person, but through the screen it's probably not going to do anything. But this will make that bottom layer nice and hard so that we can put another layer on top of that and reshape our anatomy. Okay, now that the curing is done for that bottom layer, let's quickly go and check to make sure it is hard and ready to go and that we can't fill any voids along the edges of our prep. Now we can put in the last bit of composite so that we can reshape all of the cusps and grooves that we've taken out when we started to drill. So I actually re-put the anatomy in without recording because I needed both hands and that's the hardest part so I needed to really concentrate to make sure that the composite was smooth with all the edges of the prep that we drilled out. So we're going to cure it now and hopefully, hopefully 
when it's done, it will be a good filling because I got a test in just a few days. All right, I think this is our final product. It came out pretty good, I'd say. Most of those margins are looking pretty flush. I did feel a little bit of flash or kind of extra um, with my Explorer on a couple of the areas, but I'll polish that down and I think we would have gotten a decent grade on that one. So I'm happy with how it turned out. It's the weekend already and I'm going to take a little bit of a break from doing lab work. I'm probably going to go back in later tonight actually and do one or two more just to kind of put the finishing touches uh, on some of the skills I'm trying to learn. But I actually just got done finally organizing my calendar for the month of April, like a week into it. I know, a little bit behind. but. It's pretty scary seeing how many tests I have coming up. So for the next two weeks, I have at least two quizzes or exams that are gonna be pretty big, pretty important for those uh, final end of the semester grades. And then after that, the last week of April, oh my goodness, it's going to be miserable. In the course of eight days, I'm gonna have six finals. So Monday, I have a lab final, Wednesday, I have a micro final and an early clinic final. Thursday, have a lecture final. And then Friday, have another lecture final. And that next Monday, our last day of school for the D1 year, I can't believe it's coming to an end, is going to be our huge anatomy practical and uh, lecture final. So that week, eight days, six finals. It's going to be rough, but as long as I stick to the plan that I'm doing right now, stick to the schedule that I'm using right now, I should be good to go. Uh, but it's still gonna be a few sleepless nights in a row. It's gonna be good to get our entire D1 year behind us. We get about a six day break uh, until we start our the summer of our D2 year. So that's kind of cool that we can pretty soon start calling ourselves D2. We're not the young kids on the block anymore. So pretty excited about that. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys are all doing well in school, getting ready for your own finals. I know how stressful they are, clearly. I know how stressful they are. Anyways, uh, as always, let me know down below if you guys have any questions for me or about the um, point in the process that you're in, trying to get into school. Um, tips for undergrad, just let me know. I'll try to help out the best I can, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.